If I told you the Titanic never sank. What? So the owner of the boat, JP Morgan, actually had two boats. He had the Titanic and he had the Olympic. And the Olympic was a little bit older and a little bit more run down. And it was also in some accident. Okay. So the theory is that JP Morgan sank the boat on purpose because he knew he would get a lot of money. What? He did it for the insurance money, right? But why sink the newly built Titanic when you could scratch off the paint, swap the names, and sink the Olympic instead? He just painted the word Titanic over the Olympic? It gets worse. Guess who was on that boat? Who? I know there's a lot of people on the boat. All of JP Morgan. Morgan's business competitors. What? And not one of them made it out. Oh my god. But guess who wasn't on the boat? Who? JP Morgan. Was he supposed to be? He canceled minutes before it left. Because he knew it was gonna sink. And there was a guy named James Fenton, right, who survived and worked on the boat. And on his deathbed, his last words were, the Titanic never sank. It was the Olympic. Wait, what? And he said that if he said anything, something bad would happen to him. So what you're trying to say is the movie Titanic is actually called the Olympic. Exactly.